Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Justin Hill and for those of you that don't know me, I create videos about how you can make a little bit of extra income on the side. That would be in the form of PayPal, crypto and uh, gift cards and things like that. I create videos, uh, there's a lot of them here, recent ones about various ways that you can make money. It could be apps, it could be um, software that you install, it could be on mobile, it could be on desktop. Um, and you know, and I'm heavily into crypto, uh, Brave Browser and uh, stuff like that. So if you find this sort of content useful and interesting, then please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and remember to hit that notification bell then you will be notified every time i create new content like this right let's get straight into the video today i'm going to talk about something that's quite exciting um, and it's you may have heard of it already it's called helium people powered networks um it's very interesting it's uh been around for a little while, but it's, I guess, you know, right now it's just starting to take off quite big. Um, let's go over it. There you go. The network is live. The People's Network is the world's fastest growing wireless network ever. Um, they have a total of 30,834 hotspots. So what is Helium exactly? Hotspots work together to form a new global wireless network and undertake proof of coverage. So typically with mining, you have things like um, GPU mining originally with uh, Bitcoin um, and Ethereum. And then you have ASIC miners and things like that. But for Helium, they're going a completely different route. And basically, you, you're mining HNT, which is their cryptocurrency, with hotspots, which is basically um, a device that will sit in your, in your house, low power, very low power, and um, uses radio technology to communicate. Um, unlike GPUs, which would be using a hell of a lot of electricity, these hotspots are very low power, just like a, I guess like a normal router or, you know, a radio or something like that. They're not using a lot of power at all. Um, there you go. A new way to mine crypto. By deploying a simple device in your home or office, you can provide your city with miles of low power network coverage for billions of devices and earn a new cryptocurrency, HNT. Uh, technology. So, Helium is a better way to build wireless infrastructure. The People's Network is the world's first peer-to-peer -peer wireless network that provides a secure and cost-effective way for low-power Internet of Things devices to send data to and from the internet and here we go this is just an example you have these hotspots and you might have a they send out radio signals and you might have a pet that's got lost and it can ping off of the hotspots and then you know where it is. And if you imagine you have lots of hotspots all over, then they can ping, ping, ping. And then when you ping it, you get rewarded with HNT. Another example is for a gas meter. Another one here is for a flood sensor. Um, so there's multiple ways that you could be earning HNT. And this is just the beginning, I mean, who knows where it'll go.
Helium blockchain is a new blockchain built from the ground up to incentivize the creation of decentralized public wireless networks. It's based on a new novel work algorithm called Proof of Coverage and rewards miners in HNT, the native token of the Helium blockchain. So what is Proof of Coverage? Proof of Coverage is a unique work algorithm that uses radio waves to validate hotspots are providing legitimate wireless coverage. For this validation work, hotspots can earn HNT by verifying network transactions, adding new blocks to the blockchain, and performing other tasks. And like I say, at the moment, there's a total of hotspots, 30,834. And I think you'll be surprised what the earning potential is on this. Um, can I get onto here? We'll have a look at that in a minute. So, LongFi, what is LongFi? LongFi combines the lower, I can't even say this, LoRaWAN wireless protocol with Helium blockchain so any LoRaWAN device can transfer data on the Helium network. LongFi delivers roaming capabilities and supports micropayments transactions so customers only pay based on network usage without needing to deploy gateways or network servers. Uh, devices can relay through every hotspot. Devices pay for access with data credits. Any LoRaWAN device is capable with the people's network. So it's just a way of connecting out to other devices. And there was, it's getting better as well, as if, uh, as if this wasn't good enough. There is, um, let me see if I can find it. Is there, have they got a blog somewhere? Uh, where's news? I want news. Blog. So not only have they built up this way of uh, connecting to the devices, but look at this. Look at this. The path to 5G. We founded Helium back in 2013 with a mission to make the world a more connected place through a ubiquitous global wireless network. Let's find out more about this. This is big. Um, by adding the open source Helium blockchain, we unlocked a barrier of additional centralized network build outs by spreading the cost across a decentralized ownership model. And uh, the HMT gets spread, right. Today, the Helium network, also known as the People's Network, is live with 28,000 hotspots. Well, we know that's more now, obviously. There are also another 200,000 plus hotspots on back order from a flourishing ecosystem of hotspot manufacturers that will soon be deployed. The current Helium network is well on its way to become the largest and fastest growing global network with a strong forecast for over 600,000 hotspots in the next 18 months. That's huge. But today marks the next chapter in what is sure to be an important milestone in the Helium network, the path to 5G. On April 14th, the Helium community voted to pass HIP27. Again, like every other decent, proper, working um, crypto network, you, you get to vote on, if you own Helium, you get to vote, to vote on the direction it goes. So they've obviously uh, created this here, HIP27, and then people voted on whether they wanted to do it or whether it was a good idea or not. Um, and obviously they have. So, effect so effectively paves the way for the Helium network to become the first consumer-owned 5G network in the world. So by using these hotspots and deploying these hotspots, you are actually being part of this consumer-owned 5G network. I think that's really exciting. The potential here is huge. So there you go. Let that sink in. The people's network is coming to a phone near you to 5G. 
Helium 5G will be the second major wireless network that the Helium network supports. If you have a phone that supports 5G, such as an iPhone or Samsung Galaxy, you will soon be able to connect through hotspots that are powered by the people. You may be getting 5G from your neighbour. And it couldn't have come at a better time. So there you go. I'm not going to go any further into it, but initially they're going to be rolling it out in, um, in America and obviously it will work its way around around the world but I mean that that is huge there's a huge earning potential there you know I'm I mine um, Ethereum and you know there's not a lot to be excited about that at the moment because uh, not for much longer will you be able to mine using uh, your graphics cards and things like that so to have this sort of potential something exciting around the corner is uh, it's huge and uh, you know I'm I'm really excited about this I think this is gonna be great that's that's just my opinion and uh, you know I'm just giving you the information you do what you want to do if you want to you know you're excited by this and you want to get involved then you know get involved but everyone's got to make their own their own decisions and what they want to do so there so that's that's exciting that's Things are happening for Helium. Right, so uh, let's have a look at what these devices are then. Let's look at the da, 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 technology, not technology, uh, mine. There we go, this is the devices. They haven't got hundreds of manufacturers, there's only a few. Now, it is popular. Normally I wouldn't create a video until I've actually got proof that something work, is working and I've used it myself. But the problem is these devices are on, on sort of back order. You'll be waiting months to get these devices. And if I, don't, if I wait till I get my devices, because I have ordered three, well, four technically, um, then, you know, the, I wouldn't say the ship would have sailed, but you'd be well behind um, everyone else so you know but we will we'll, we'll go out we'll go over this so you've got Nebra I've got one of these on order and I can tell you now they've got so many orders that you know they're struggling to keep on top of that they've actually just classed themselves as sold out they could make more and more and take more money but they're trying to be decent and go look we've got so many orders we've got to put a sold out on there Otherwise, you know, they're just gonna be swamped. And I mean, these orders, you could order sort of now and you you might be lucky and see it before Christmas. That's how much of a back order there is on these. But I've got, I've got one of these coming, but they're classing themselves as sold out now. Um, and that's a Nebra as well, outdoor one, indoor one. The other ones that I've ordered a couple of, the Bobcat Miner. Now that's the, I would say that's the most recent one. That was the most recent one, but this one has just been released. So this is this is relatively new as well. And if we go here, it just, I just like the look of it. I think it looks good. Um, I've got two of these on order. And give it a go. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's literally just plug and play, pretty much. Uses very, very little power. Let's have a look. Let's describe the power on it. Low power. Uses as little power as a 5 watt light bulb, which consumes 0.12 kilowatts per day. I mean, you're talking, I don't know, do, do the math. Maybe. Two pound a month to run, or a pound a month to run. It's it's really going to be nothing to run, and yet the earning potential of these, which we'll go over in a minute. So yeah, these because of the way you have to pay for these at the moment, you have to do it by sending crypto. I think this put people off a little bit. So you might you might get it quicker ordering the Bobcat. I'm not saying you will. You might. And then these have been around for a while as well, rack hotspots. But again, rumor has it they've got a massive 
backlog of orders as well. Um, so yeah, they have uh, that's price. If you do order one, make sure you get the right frequency. So you got 915 megahertz for US Canada, and then you got Europe 868, and then United Kingdom is also 868. So they seem to have a separate one for Europe for some reason there. So yeah, just make sure you get the right one. But I mean, I mean look here. Europe, order rack hotspot minor version 2 now for shipment starting in summer. I mean, it's, you're looking months away. Months and months and months. But, you've got to start somewhere. So, you know, if you want to get, get on board, then you accept the fact that it's going to take several months before you get it. This is the most recent one to be released. Um, sink for a bit. There you go, pretty much standard, two models, one for America, Canada, etc., and the one for Europe and UK. Again, look, it's just a little device. It's just a little device. That's it. There you go. All orders paid by April 9th from projected to ship in May. Pre-order. The one thing I do like about this, this one, is all orders are fully refundable for any reason until the package is shipped. So let's say you were waiting for two months, you also bought from another place, that one's turned up, you could then cancel this one if you do not want to have two. Um, there you go, that's good, isn't it? The right shipping estimates, all orders are fully refundable for any reason until the package is shipped, which is fair enough. Um, there you go, look at this then. So orders placed between April the 10th and April the 20th. I know we're past that because it's 1st of May. But, so April, May, June. So they were projected to be mid-July, so two and a half months later. Orders placed after April the 20th. Look at this. September. So basically, if we were to order now, the 1st of May... So you've got May, June, July, August. You're looking five months away. Five months. So, that's gonna get annoying. So yeah, so if you, if you wanna get on board, again, you do what you wanna do, but the longer you leave it, the longer this is going to get because as this gets bigger and bigger which it is more and more people are going to get interested and the wait times are going to get bigger and bigger because as we know anything to do with technology in the world at the moment I mean you can't get GPUs that are newly, newly released well they all have components so you know they're struggling to, to manufacture these in the massive quantities as well so yeah, so if you are interested, you might want to take action sooner rather than later. Like I say, I've got quite a few on the way, not a huge amount. I've got, like I say, I've got three, on, three and um, one, which is like a share. Um, I get 20% and the person that's provided it gets 80%. But still, if it only makes 20, 30 pounds a month, it's still 20, 30 pounds. I haven't had to pay for the device. Um, but I've also bought free as well. Right. Um, so that's the devices that you can get. And I'm sure, I'm sure, so there's one, two, three, four manufacturers that they've got. I'm sure there will be more added to that. Not hundreds, but I'm sure there will be more than just those. That's the original one that was produced. There you go. How do I earn HNT? Participants earn HNT by mining and building coverage for the People's Network using compatible hotspots. Proof of coverage. Hotspots on the network are randomly and automatically assigned proof of coverage tests to complete. Passing and witnessing tests earns HNT. 
Proof of cover challenges involve three distinct roles. Challenger, the hotspot that constructs and issues the proof of coverage challenge. Hotspots issue challenges approximately once per every 240 blocks. Transmitter, sometimes called challenge E. This hotspot is the target of the proof of coverage challenge and is responsible for transmitting or beaconing challenge packets to potentially be witnessed by geographically proximate hotspots. Witness. Hotspots that are geographically proximate to the transmitter and report the existence of the challenge packet after it has been transmitted. So they're all working together and you earn different amounts depending on whether you're the challenger, transmitter or witness. Relay device data. Hotspots earn HNT for transferring device data over the network. The more device data hotspot transfers, the more it earns. Consensus groups. Trusted hotspots are randomly elected to consensus groups, earning HNT by validating transactions and adding blocks to the blockchain. I would think you get good rewards if that happens. And again, it's just randomly elected. So there's different amounts you'd get for each one. And then obviously it goes into great, into great detail there. So I do suggest you uh, check out the Helium website if you are interested in finding out more. And either how are tokens earned, and then it's sort of gone over the different bits here. So there you go. So one, challenges, 0.95%. Hotspots are chosen by the network to issue challenges, encrypted messages over the internet to a target group of hotspots. Challenges are used by proof of coverage to validate wireless coverage. Hotspots can issue challenges from any location, not just to local hotspots. Proof of coverage, it's a number two as an example. Hotspots earn a share of HNT for participating in a proof of coverage and validating their peers' wireless coverage. The amount each hotspot earns depends on how often it is directly involved in the proof of coverage activity. So if it only does one, it'll earn X amount. If it does two, three, four, and this is why to get the most out of your devices, you need to be near other devices, but not at your location. So you, don't, you can't have like five at your house because it just won't work there has to be a certain amount of distance between each one um, and we'll go over that in a minute I'll show you some examples um, witnesses so there you go that's a witness hotspots that monitor and report proof of coverage activity beacons of other hotspots receive a portion of HNT depending on how much activity they've witnessed and the reward scaling of the challengee so you have a witness you have a proof of coverage and you have a challenger. And four, network data transfer. So here we go, number four. HNT is distributed to hotspots that transfer data from devices on the network. The amount of HNT is allocated proportionally based on the amount of data a hotspot transferred. So for transferring data. And then five, where's five? Five ain't on there, is it? One, two, three, four. The consensus groups, 6%. Hotspots are randomly elected to this consensus group to form tasks including validating transactions and publishing new blocks. To the blockchain group, members receive a portion of the 6% distributed to the consensus group. Again, randomly selected. Right, so if you was buying these devices, how many people in your area are using them? How would you know? Here we go, the browse view network map. So there you go. Here we have hotspots that are active, 30,834. Here's a map of the world. As you can see, there are massive areas where there isn't any, and then there are areas where there's loads. So I'm in England, so we're gonna go there. And if you can guess where you think there might be loads, you'd be right. It tends to be like the major cities. So here we go. 
Can't quite see it because it's covered. London. Birmingham. Not as many as London, but there's still more there. Manchester. See? And Glasgow. Cardiff. So you can see that it's all clumped together. The, the red ones aren't active at the moment, so they might be switched off. Maybe there's a problem. Right. I live in this area. In this sort of area. And um, yeah, there's not a huge number here, is there? Which is why I've, like I say, I've purchased free and I've got a free one coming as well that I don't fully earn the rewards on. I only get 20%. Um, and that's because I'm going to try and beef it up a bit in this area. Um, and by having that many and obviously give it to some friends and that, I'm gonna, I can only put one at my house because you're not supposed to put more than one really because it will affect your your sort of payout that you can get. Um, I can show you an example of that. If we go here, these are pretty close, aren't they? Um, and you can actually, if I move near, you can click on it. And if you look over here, you've got some details about it. So it's Portsmouth. I can view the hotspot details. And if you see here, the hotspots own reward scale does not impact its and hotspots witness this hotspots hot witnessing this hotspot will see their rewards scaled up or down according to this hotspots reward scale. Okay, so it's not going to affect this device, but it'll affect the devices that are connecting to it. And its reward scale is 0.5. Um, okay, so we can see here. Recent witness is zero, nearby hotspots. It's picking up free. Free hotspots, tells you how far away they are. So that one's 761 meters away. That's 1.7 kilometers away. And that one's 32.46 meters away. Let's have a look at its rewards. So, Past 24 hours, 0.04 HNT, not a huge amount. In the previous period, it was 0.064. Okay, this one's quite a drop. 30 days, nearly nearly five HNT. So uh, at the moment it's 12 pounds, but for ease of maths, let's just say 10 pounds. So 10 fives, 50 quid. 50 quid in a month. Not bad, really. It's not bad. About the same as um, what you'd get from maybe a GPU, a lower end GPU. So it's not, and you're not paying out much on electric. So it's that's not bad. You know, you get an ROI on your device in what six months at that level. But anyway, that's minus 84 percent from the previous month. The previous month it had 31 HNT. Let's get the calculator up. Right. Let's get the calculator up. Let's get, let's do the realistic one. Let's do this real. HNT GBP price. Right. HNT 24 hour highs 12.65, 24 hour lows 11.80. So let's do it at 12.39. Right, so let's just do it at 12 quid. Nice and simple, 12 quid. So let's go back. So previously it was 31. So 31 times by 12. So the previous month they earned 372 pounds. But that pays that device off. So they've paid that device off in one month. 372 pounds. In one month that device was paid off. That's pretty good going. That's pretty good going. Um, nearby hotspots, so we can actually click on these other hotspots. So near, there you go, it's reached all the way from there over the Gosport. Across the water. It's quite a range. Okay. 
It's got there. The um, that's the power I think of the signal, DBM. So nearby hotspots again. All the nearby ones. Rewards. <laughs> Check that out then. Check that one out. So, wild violet. Wild violet. It's that one, isn't it? Previous period, so last month, they had 60 times 12. Last month, they earned 720 pounds. Overpaid that device off, 720 pounds. This month, what's that again? 247, 247. They made two thousand nine hundred and sixty-four pounds in one month, and as you can see, if we go back, oh, which one was that? That was Wild Violet. Uh, which one are you? Is that you? Yeah, so that's that one. So that one. So you haven't got to have hundreds of, of devices around you. That one, it's got that one in range, that one in range, and one of these in range, and it earned nearly three grand this month, or the last month that it, it's showing. Three grand, and there's only a few devices. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that one quickly. Just to show that there's a variety of different, um, so that's got one nearby that's picking up, one nearby. Again, this month's gone low, but look at the previous month. Again, 30. So uh, 10 pound would be 300 pounds. So it's gonna be about 360, something like that. Again, it's paid off the device. In one month, it's paid. So it, it does vary what you get, and obviously I've only got two months to look at, you know, the current 30 days and the previous 30 days. But um, you can see as well. Um, uh, can I see it on there or not? Activity. So you've got an activity, you can see what they got, like mining reward. They were the challenger, and that's what they got. Um, witness. Uh, yeah, so he's checking, he's validating something. Does it tell you how much he got for it? I don't think it does, does it? Showing you what he witnessed. So yeah, beacon. Shows the beacon. So yeah, it shows you all the different mining reward. Proof of coverage challenger. And it's all very all very interesting. I mean check it out on on your map. So yeah, so this like I say this is where I live. This area. There ain't a huge amount here. So I'm hoping if I place some around here, some around here, they'll be able to connect up. And who knows what I'll get. But we'll give it a go. Like I say, there's only three. Have a quick look, what they got. Um, rewards. There you go. They, they still got 66 times 12. I still got 792 pounds, and um, I mean, there's only three there. Look, look at that's, there's only three, and they still got 792 pounds. And there was, I can't remember which one it was now, but there was one in the London area that I clicked on, and it had earned 
it would I think it was about I think it was about 750 in one month which would be nine grand and for the life of me I'm not gonna find it again look how many there are but there was like I say there was one that had 750 in one month let's do that one um, I mean, look how many like, nearby hotspots. I mean, 11, 11 nearby hotspots. Rewards, 32. Guessing they're not running this month. So they're not doing that, that bad either, really, 32. They're still 300 and something. Um, let me try and find some that are more bunched up. Like these ones, these are all bunched up. Look at that then. Uh, nearby hotspots, 16. Witnesses, 30. Let's see what rewards they've had. There you go, there's an example. 600, and, in the past month, 664 HNT. 664 times by 12, just shy of 8,000 pounds in one month, in one month. Let's have a look. Um, the previous month was 629. So in two months, about 15 grand in two months. I'm not saying you'll get these results. I'm not saying I'm gonna get these results. I'd be happy with 100 pound a month, 50 pound a month, to be honest. I'd be happy just to pay the device off. But you can see that some people, for whatever reason, are getting some good good numbers on, on, on this. So there, there's huge potential here, and we haven't even got the 5G on it yet. So there is, there is huge potential, but there is such a backlog for these devices that if you want one and want to get involved in this, you need to start looking now. And in reality, you're not going to get involved for three to four months because that's how long it's going to take for your device to turn up. I mean, let's just have a quick look on, on here. Look how silly this is. So you can buy the devices for 350. Let's look at helium. Oh, what's going on? Helium crypto. There you go. Look at these. These are like 350 quid, 350 quid, 980. And this UK seller, general device with device. Let's have a look then. Has he actually got this? There you go, it's a pre-advice. He hasn't made that clear on the initial um, view. Look, this is a pre-sale. This is a pre-sale. So he hasn't even got it yet. He's not gonna have it till July or August. And he's still selling it. Well, the current price is 980 pounds. But, as you've seen by some of the figures, you may well get that back in one month, but you might not. So yeah, I mean, it's getting it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, look at all these. Look at that. Look at that. So they got that there with, with, with advice. So he hasn't even got it. Two thousand three hundred pounds. Two thousand three hundred pounds. Oh, there you go then. Well, look, there you go. So this this one he actually has. So this is one that he's actually got in, you know, that he can post. 
and um, selling because of no near, of not near buy hotspots. Yeah, but there might well be some near soon. There might be some near soon. And then you're missing out on the potential. But yeah, some people are almost prepared to pay nearly three grand because as you've seen, in one month, you might earn eight grand. Still a bit of a risk getting one for 2,300 because again, there's no guarantees. I've not checked out every single, every 30,000 devices on there to see if all 30,000 have ever hit, you know, thousands and thousands earnings in a month. The, the ones I'm clicking on might be the lucky ones that done really well. I don't know. I don't know what the average is, but the ones that I have clicked on, I mean, like I say, they, the range is huge. You can go from a hundred pounds to eight grand, nine grand. So, I mean, I wouldn't want to go all in at 2,000. I wouldn't want to pay 2,000 for one, me personally. Because if you are only and you know you end up only making fifty quid a month, well, it's going to take forever to pay it off just to get your money back. But then I guess that's where you take a gamble if if you choose to uh, do it. So there, so that's that's where you can go and have a look at what's around you and what sort of earnings they're getting, give you a rough idea on what you might get. So yeah, so I hope you. Um, you found this interesting like i say i'm i'm going to do some more videos on it i think um obviously i don't know when my device is going to turn up i ordered one back in march and i've ordered um well, actually well, i ordered one back in march plus the one where i only get a 20 percent share of what it earns and um yeah and i've ordered two um last week so when they turn up, I might have more to show. I can demonstrate how to use them and things like that. But at the moment, um, I just wanted to get this out there so that you, it's at least on your radar if it's not already. And it you know, might be something that's worth checking out because it's the initial cost. Okay, you've got the initial cost of about 350 quid. Paying for one, you've obviously got the weight, so you've got to be patient for it to turn up. Um, but you know, in sort of four or five months, who knows how many are going to be around you that you can connect to and it'll be able to ping off and earn the, reward, the different rewards. Um, so I just wanted to get out there really. I don't want to wait until I actually had it in my hand, the devices, because I mean, that could be in three months time. And then if you ordered then, I mean, you're looking at February, March next year before you'd get your devices. So yeah, I've broken my norm. I like to normally have, have done the tests um, before I talk about it, but it just on this sort of thing, it's just not possible. So like I say, this is what I'm doing. I'm really excited about this. Um, can't wait to get involved. And um, you know, it might be the right thing for you. It might not be the right thing for you. That's up to you what you choose to do. Um, but I'm gonna you know, carry on and uh, I'll show you what I'm up to. And if you wanna join the ride, then good luck. And I hope it works out. Anyway, it's getting late now, it's 11 o'clock, wife will be home soon, so uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Take care. I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video if you found it useful and interesting. If you want me to do more content on this, then um, please leave a comment um, down below. And uh, yeah, everyone stay safe. It's bank holiday weekend, so uh, enjoy spending time with your families. And uh, yeah, peace.